Hi there. In this video I will show you how easy it is to stage devices using CypherLab Remo Cloud. In this example I will show you the staging of an RK95. We will start by creating a profile. One profile can serve as many devices as you want, even different models, as long as the required settings and applications for the devices are mutual. You can give your profile any name you like. Best is to give it a clear descriptive name for its purpose. Once the profile is created, the CypherLab OEM config app is automatically added to the profile. With this app, we have control over the device's settings that we can access by clicking Manage Config. This will open the Settings categories. We will make a couple of settings such as Display Timeout and Display Brightness. In the Language section, we set the System Language to English and in the System Date and Time section, we configure Middle European Time Zone and 24-hour clock operation. At last, the OK button saves the profile. Now we will add a few apps to our profile, so let's click on the Add App button. We can add any apps from the Google Play Store, and alternatively we can add our own apps under Private Apps or make links to web applications under Web Apps. For now, let's take some standard applications from the Google Play Store such as Microsoft's Remote Desktop Client and WhatsApp. By clicking the Save button, our profile is stored and ready to be deployed. Now we will use Enroll Device to create an enrollment code. From the drop-down menu, we'll pick the desired profile and add our Wi-Fi network settings. By doing so, we can enroll the device automatically via Wi-Fi. An Enrollment 2D code is generated and we can scan it from the computer screen or we can print it out on paper so that it can be used to stage multiple devices at any later moment independently. Now we take a CypherLab device out of its box, which is at its factory defaults. When we start it up, it will show the Google wizard. All we now need to do is hit the start button and in the next screen we are given the possibility to scan the enrollment code. After scanning the enrollment code, the device connects to Wi-Fi and the Remo Cloud takes over control of the device. Without further interactions needed from the user, the device will be configured with the settings we had put in our profile before. And the applications we added to the profile are automatically installed on the device. If any changes need to be made to the configuration, the system administrator simply goes back to editing the profile. Make the adjustments needed and save the profile again. For example, Let's change the system language of the device to French. Simply open the profile, go to the language settings and update the language. After saving the profile, the change will be automatically deployed to the devices using this profile. Last but not least, Remo Cloud offers kiosk mode operation which means the device can be locked down so the user can only access certain applications without having access to any Android settings. To do this, we go to the profile again, select Device Settings and choose the Lock Task tab. Here we can choose Single or Multi-App Lock Mode. In this case, we use the Multi-App Mode. After saving the profile, the device is automatically updated and locked so the user can only access the applications as loaded in the profile. If you want to learn more about Remo Cloud and CypherLab Android Enterprise recommended devices, visit www.cypherlab.com or contact your CypherLab representative. 
Thank you very much for watching this video till the end.